Mr. Matt Monterano, thank you for sitting with me here. Thanks, James. And give me a chance to find out what you're all about, etc. I know your background, obviously. I know about Connective, I know about Checkout Champ, and I know some about you as a mystery man. Can you go and give me your full background up, up until today? Sure. I uh, grew up in Chicago, uh, went into the military uh, right after high school, served for several years in one of the most kick ass units in the U.S. Army. And then when I got out, uh, I ended up leaving the service because we were about to have our second child. Okay. And it's just not a great place to raise kids. Sure. Uh, family is very important to me. So I get out and I ask my dad, I'm like, so what's next? He said, learn how to sell. You know, that's the, the same old story, right? Yeah. You've got to be able to sell. So I, was, I learned how to sell uh, health insurance and life insurance to small business owners, which is a tough rack. Because no one has any money. It's still the convincing. Yeah. From there, I went to go work for one of the largest membership companies in the nation called CBSI. And while I was watching all these people, all of our clients make a ton of money off of memberships, off of discount shopping services, discount health services, I said, you know what? I can do this. So I started inventing my own products. And I started selling these products through print and radio advertising way back. I mean, that's yeah, old school. How old were you at this time? Oh, God. 26, 27. Okay. And I was outsourcing everything. So, you know what? I need better control over this, so I'm going to open my own call center. So I opened 150 seat call center in Chicago. 100 seats for sales, 50 seats for customer service. We're doing our own product fulfillment. I was doing my own media buying. Wow. Yeah. It was nuts. And when we first started doing it, you know, all we had was desks and phones. They were taking orders by paper, and then I had data entry people putting in. So I hired a couple of guys to come and build me an order management system. Uh, and it just kept building from there and there. Uh, and then I started getting into online advertising, like the very like infancy of this affiliate marketing. Sure. I'll tell you how long ago this was. My CPAs were $9 a sale. Wow. <laughs> I was selling a male enhancement product, wow. nine bucks a second. Wow. And it was all continuity based, so we, did, you know, we built a killer subscription billing platform. So I sold that company in 2008. I kept the technology, I put it into the cloud, and in 2010 I launched Connect. Uh, Brian Bolerjack, my vice president of sales, who you're very close with, we've yeah. worked with him for a long time, uh, he actually used my platform before he worked with us. Okay, wow. Yeah. So, um, and we grew Connective. This is actually a funny story. You've been around for a long time. When I came in with this product, I was told, you'll never make it. You got Triangle CRM, you have Orange CRM, you have Orange, yeah. yeah, hard one. And you have Line Level. Triangle out of business, Orange, no one even hears about them anymore. And we've destroyed Line Level. How many users have been through Connective, what type do you have stats? I mean, obviously I use Connective, so I'm familiar with its power. Sure. But what kind of stats do you have on Connective, out of curiosity? Um, we have about 60,000 people who log in on a daily basis into the system, 60,000 users. Uh, we probably have you know, a couple of hundred thousand campaigns running at any given time. We process between 30 and 50 million transactions a month. Wow. Uh, we did just north of $7 billion through our platform last year. Wow, that's a big number. Yeah. That's a big one. We're integrated to over 160 different gateways from around the world, so we're this, international. This is something crazy people aren't even used to, but they have so many payment processors mixed into a system. It's pretty nuts. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, that's what we do. We just keep integrating some of the best products and services, like Clavio, all the chargeback companies, like Mitigator, Chargebacks 911. We have all over 600 integrations in our platform. That's nuts. That's nuts. Um, how did you go from Connective to Checkout Chat? So obviously I've been in the e-commerce affiliate world for years and we started dipping our toe into e-com. And the one thing I kept hearing over and over again, which was a common theme, was these, these e-commerce platforms, they're great at building storefronts, but they suck at checkouts. Well, that's one thing I'm better at than anyone is transaction processing. So light bulb goes off, Pulling a team, so this is what we're building. Actually, we first started building it to compete with ClickFunnels. And we've done a good job of that. All their big guys are using us now. But from that, that evolution came our checkout platform. We have the ability to hook into really any e-commerce platform from cart over to our custom checkouts and one-click upsell flows. 
Okay, so let me ask you about some of the technical stuff here. So basically, if I'm a Shopify user, I can still use Checkout Channel. Can. Yeah. And basically, my problems, my personal grievances, if you will, with Shopify is the checkout. Explain to me a little bit about why it's better to go with your checkout as opposed to the traditional Shopify one, or some of the limitations that people complain about that made you make checkout. So, right now, every store that's in Shopify, and I know this because I look at dozens of them every single week. When you go, when you put items in your cart, when you click proceed to checkout, it takes five to 12 seconds to go from cart to the checkout page. And then you get to the checkout page, it's a boring multi, it's a three-step checkout, which kills, you know, yeah, it kills, kills conversion. conversion. And it's not customizable, it's just kind of plain, and there's nothing there. You can't do pre-purchase upsells and order bumps. Um, and they don't have one-click upsells built into it. You have to use another third-party app. Yeah. Uh, subscription billings, if you want, you gotta use, you know, some of these not so great service. Say recharge. Recharge, you gotta Everybody use recharge. Everybody complains about recharge. It's terrible. We have the most flexible, probably the strongest subscription billing platform that's ever existed. And I know this because all my competitors try to buy a subscription to see what we're doing. Wow. Isn't that funny? Yeah, of course. I catch them all the time. I secret shop my competitors. And stuff. <laughs> what is one of the things that once people start using Checkout Champ, they're kind of surprised by? Uh, we have, uh, I'll give you a great example. I talked to a client. He actually sent to me unsolicited a six minute testimonial video. Wow. And his name is Ben. He said it took me about two hours to build my checkout, my custom checkout page and my upsell flow all the way to the thank you page. I published it and immediately my conversions over doubled. So think about this as a media buyer, the same amount of money you're spending to get a thousand customers, you just turn something on in two hours, you know, and immediately start seeing two thousand sales. Now like just alone, the ability to speed up that time, we both know we'll make more conversions. Like full stop, speed is the number one optimization of any type of conversion based software, website, whatever, that makes the biggest difference. And number two, the ability to customize is so huge. I can't stand using something that's stuck that I don't have a chance to work on. Like when you're only working on the traffic side and you can't fix the other very important part of the equation, it's really, uh, it's really a killer. What about unique currencies? I have a lot of products that I sell in a lot of different cur different countries. Mm -hmm. You know, some are US, I might also sell in Canada, I might also say I sell in France, Germany. How does it work on the currency stuff? We support every currency from around the world. We actually track by geo, so we can populate the, the currency of that customer from where they're buying. Wow. So based and on that's IP. out of the box or that's an upsell? It's right out of the box. Wow. No add-ons. Another thing that our system does really well, most clients that have a subscription have a, a single time purchase with the subscribe and save. If the customer puts that one time purchase into their cart and they go to checkout, our system knows is that a single time purchase or a subscription. If it's a single time purchase, you can pop a subscribe and save message window. It just swaps out the product IDs. Wow. We're converting more people into subscriptions than any other platform. Wow, that's a big one. It's so crazy because like it seems like the adoption of this should be full stop because there's so many like I don't want to say easy ways for someone to make more money, but especially now when traffic is so difficult, with the iOS update and just rising prices, when you can make like little switches like this to get a higher conversion rate or get more subscribe and saves, it's such a massive difference. It's huge. Everything, especially companies that want to sell eventually, what investors are looking for is MRR, monthly recurring revenue. It's, a term, it's all about predictability. If you have predictive revenue, you're going to get a higher multiple. It's true, right? Yeah. Uh, also, uh, what Ben was saying in his video that he sent over is that not only did his conversion rates go up, his AOV went up over $40 from where it was because of our one-click upsells. Wow. The thing about it, if you can reduce your costs, increase conversion, and increase AOV, it's a win. Yeah, it's an absolute winner. Without even having to do anything with the traffic side. That's right. It's amazing. And the best part, when the clients sign up, we actually give them an account manager to help them set everything up. Yeah, that's crucial. The onboarding part is a big thing. When you're using a system and you're trying to change things out, someone there to like hold your hand to get it set up. Well, I mean, I know we worked with you guys a ton, getting our different PayPal things set up and some of the kind of crazy things that we wanted to do. You guys just fully supported it with multiple people, so it was badass. And we couldn't figure it out on one of the PayPal pages you had. I called my PayPal rep. I said, hey, get this done. Yeah, totally. These guys are important. What about payment processing? I know you were working on another solution. What do you have going on? With payment processing? Yeah. Well, 
I just bought our own pay fat. It's wow. called Merchant Connect. Okay. It's integrated right into the platform, so users of Checkout Champ can go in, submit an application, and get a mini approval immediately four or five thousand dollars so they can start testing and it'll go into the full underwriting process with bank statements and such. But you can get unlimited merchant accounts, subscription billings, no reserves. How do the rates compare to Stripe? I use Stripe right now. How are the rates? Better than Stripe. No way. way. And what about different countries? Over 47 different countries. It's crazy. It's so not like only that, but also the uh, a lot of countries will have their own private bank cards, like debit cards, so it's not Visa MasterCard. We also support those smaller networks, like in Germany, France, Switzerland. This is crazy. So it's basically so I can go and get cheaper rates in Stripe and have it in multi-currency and everything else if I switch over to checkout. Check. That's right. And we have a higher risk tolerance. In Stripe, if you get close to 1%, they'll shut you down. Wow. 1% chargeback. Let me just yeah, 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 1% yeah, yeah. charge. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. With us, if you go above, we we'll put a small reserve on just to make sure we're covered. Yeah. If it gets too bad, we're, we'll work with you to figure it out. But we also have 3D uh, Secure, which deflects 60 to 70% of your chargebacks anyways. Wow. Wow, you just keep that. I can't even think any other ways you can do it better. <laughs>